This is a 2024. It's a Ram three-quarter ton. It's a big horn crew cab with a short box. A couple cool things on this one. It's got the uh, sport appearance package on it, which gets you all your uh, color matching bumpers and the sport badging, all that kind of stuff. It does have the uh, cloth bucket seats as well. So the kind of a fancier interior than the standard big horn seats that you're going to be looking at, which is normally a bench. Uh, we also added the tow hooks to this one. And the fifth wheel prep package. So if you're going to be pulling an RV or something, this is going to be, it's all good to go. It's got all the wiring. We're going to take a look at that when we get to the back of the truck. Uh, now it's a level two, which is about a $6,000 upgrade. But basically what you're going to be getting in that is you get some, you know, get the heated seats, the dual zone climate control. Comes with polished aluminum wheels. Uh, comes with power heated telescoping mirrors in that package. Uh, navigation's in there as well. A bunch of other stuff. We're going to take a look at it when we get inside. Uh, it's got the... Um, Automatic transmission, the Cummins diesel, auxiliary upfitter switches. So if you're going to be adding like extra lights and stuff like that, it makes it really easy to do that. It also has the uh, Alpine sound system with the subwoofer and the uh, backup or the uh, cargo camera for when you're loading up your RV. So let's take a look at the vehicle itself. So across the front, you'll notice that the grill matches. So this is the same color as the rest of the body in here. So you can see how kind of everything kind of all ties together really nice. Also has the color keyed bumpers down below, um, which I think it. It's kind of the newest thing. Some guys prefer the chrome. Some guys prefer the color match stuff. So it just depends what you like. I'm a little older, so I like the chrome stuff. But a lot of guys like this, too. Uh, front tow hooks as well. So if you're going to be pulling anybody out of the ditch or something like that, you've got a good place to tie off to. You'll also see it has these little circles here in the front bumper. Okay, so these are your, your little park sensors. So they're going to start beeping if you're about to run into anything. On the side, we've got the aluminum rims. Decent tire. They're a Firestone. Uh, they're kind of an all-around tire is what they're designed to do. So they're designed to go like on the pavement, off-road, on-road, that kind of stuff. Um, so if you're, you know, if you're looking for something that's more universal, this is a good fit for you. Cummins diesel logo, turbocharged, nice and set in the red. Kind of ties into the little red up here too with the chrome on the 2500. These are the new mirrors. Uh, it's got the LED strips up top. So this you can turn a switch on and light those up. It also has a little LED light on here too that you can turn on so you can see what you're doing. These mirrors do uh, fold out, okay, so you can just power operate them, and they'll just slide in and out just like I did. I just kind of forced it manually there, but you can do it off the power switch. This is also power operable, and so is the top mirror as well, so you can kind of adjust everything. So if you do extend your mirrors out, it usually throws your, your mirror positioning out, so you got to readjust everything. But now with these new mirrors, you can just do, change everything right from the driver's seat. So you don't have to get the passenger to kind of wiggle everything around. Also has the uh, little triangle in here for your blind spot monitoring so if you're about to cut somebody off it'll start uh it'll kind of light up at you so you know before you you change lanes that you're you're hopefully you check your mirror before you change lanes you won't uh, cut anybody off and cause an accident inside we got the bigger 12 inch touch screen we're going to take a look at that when we get to the driver's seat you'll also see the cloth pockets so we've got nice side support you'll also see all the uh, big horns we got the extra stitching in the seats here that kind of put different panels and insets into them just dresses them up a little bit more makes them look a little bit nicer um, the headrests too are adjustable these kind of ratchet forward so you can kind of see how you can kind of set it up that way it's supposed to give you a little bit more head support uh, a couple things some guys like it because it makes it a little bit easier when you're driving um, so you don't, uh, you can kind of rest your head on it. A lot of guys like it too uh, for help reduce whiplash because if it's tilted forward, you, your head can't kind of zip back as far in an accident. So it just makes it a little bit safer. A uh, nice map pocket storage. We've got a couple of different trays. Pop this open. you got a storage tray in here. It's got a little liner you can take out, hose that off if you want. It makes it nice and easy to keep clean. Down below, uh, there's your owner's manuals. You've got a little pouch in here for your, for your, uh, this little is your plug that you take off if you take your tailgate you can kind of click that to the truck itself and it just stops your wiring from getting damaged round mats it's got the nice stitching right in built right into the carpet and these just clip and unclip you can just kind of take them out and hose them off if you want jacking your tire underneath in, in here so if you need to change your spare tire all your all your stuff's there this is a, a manual seat you just lift the lever up to move the seat back and forth so We'll take a look at the driver's seat. I believe it's power. We'll double check that when we get to the other side. On the door trim, got kind of a, like a burnt wood look thing in here. We've got some metal, little vinyl inset, uh, kind of a fabric in here. And then your vinyl door tops and stuff like that. Some storage pockets, lots of area down below to keep your junk. Also got a grab handle up here on the A-pillar too, so you can pull yourself in and out. If you're a little bit shorter, it makes it easier to get in and out of these trucks. 
In the back seat, we got the fold down armrest. You can see it's got the cup holders right there. You can kind of flick that up out of the way if you want to have, make it a uh, for the, all the passengers. Uh, for a five passenger, you can put three passengers in the back. There's your subwoofer for your speakers. Over here, we got some USB ports that you can plug so the kids can plug their cell phones in. You can just kind of hook into those. Underneath here, there's also got these storage bins in the floor. These just lift up. It's got a removable tray, so you can take that out. If you put something in there, it's a good place to store some items, keep your crap out of the way. Um, I like to I always mention to everybody in these videos to kind of maybe throw like an extra set of work gloves in there, some tie downs, uh, tow ropes, any of that kind of stuff that you want to keep in your car but you want to be tripping on it all the time. It's a great place to put it there, so you so you've got it when you need it. Uh, rear door, same thing as the front. You've got the kind of the burnt wood. Uh, we've got the chrome and the fabric. Lots of storage pockets in there too. Going to the rear of the vehicle. A couple things I want to point out. This uh, being a three-quarter ton, it's got the coil springs. So that's what these are right here for your rear suspension. So this rides a lot nicer than say the one tons with the Leafs. So it uh, doesn't quite pack as much weight as the one ton does. I mean, it's still a three-quarter ton diesel, so it packs lots of weight, but. Not as much as the one tons with the Leaf, but you still get a decent ride out of this one too. So if you're going to be using this as an everyday driver, you know, and you're going to be running around empty a lot, the three quarter tons the way to go. Rear front flaps on them. We put those in when we did the PDI, so that's included on the price that you see online. We also have the hitch in the back, so this is the uh, two and a half inch drop bar. So if you're going to be pulling a trailer, I recommend that you buy the the bigger drop bar because it fits in there better. You can get a sleeve that you can purchase that slides in there and then the drop bar fits in there as well. So if you want to keep your using your existing two inch drop bars, you can. Uh, there's a wiring plug in here. You get like a four pin down here. And then down below is your seven if you're pulling a trailer with brakes. Built in backup camera right there. In the box, uh, you can see that they got the fifth wheel prep. This is what we talked about. You can see how it's got the puck system. Okay, so those little caps, they just pop open. And then you can drop your hitch right in there, and it just locks into place. It's super easy to install it. If you're going to be pulling a gooseneck, the uh, center hold uh, plug just pops off, and you can just drop your ball hitch right in there. And then you take the front two out, and you put your safety chains up there. So it's super easy to hook up your uh, gooseneck. The kit's about 400 bucks, I think, for the gooseneck. And the hitches depend on how you know how big and how heavy a one you're looking to buy. You know, they run anywhere from about 1500 bucks to three grand. I mean, you can probably spend more if you get those fancy pivot ones and all kinds of stuff. But So there's lots of fancy things that a guy can do there. But if you're doing, going to be pulling a trailer, talk to us. We can help recommend the right hitch for you. There's your wiring for your fifth wheel. You can kind of see they got the plugs on both sides, so you can plug everything in there. And that front plug there is if you want to plug something in like a... Like it's like a like an electrical outlet, so you can use it to charge cords, uh, run like light anything with a light electrical load. I mean, you don't want to plug a you know weld or anything in there, but you know, or a hair dryer would probably pop the fuse. But if you're running some electric lighter electrical stuff, it's easy to use. In here, I'll show you the tank. You've got your DEF fluid on this side, and that's where your diesel fuel goes. Um, DEF should last um, should last. About 8,000 clicks. So basically, every time you do an oil change, you know, top up your DEF is usually what we recommend. That seems to work pretty good. I mean, unless you're doing lots of idle time, you may have to top up your DEF more often than that. This is your auxiliary outfitter switches uh, with all your wiring connections. So these are your wires. They just hook in underneath the fire on the uh, firewall on the driver's side. You just plug those little caps off there, and then you can plug the wires into there. And then that'll, that'll just tie right into your auxiliary switches. So that way, if you want to add, like, exterior lights, if you want to add backup lights, whatever, it's, it's super easy to hook everything up. You're not drilling any holes. Uh, they've even got a reverse line that you can feed back into the cab if you want one of your toggle switches to operate something that's inside the physical cab itself. So it's kind of a neat system to play with if you're into adding accessories later on. Makes it makes your life a lot easier. And here's your cold front. Uh, this is just like a, a nose bra, basically. You put it on the grill, and it just kind of blocks the air to get it into the rad. Uh, you're going to want to put that on come winter time. This makes everything uh, run a lot warmer, uh, kind of because it blocks the air out, and it helps the rad heat up a lot quicker, so you, it gets a little bit toastier sooner. It's a lot easier on the vehicle, too. Otherwise, they'll sit there and idle forever, and it takes a while to get the heat up. Power locks, power windows, power mirrors. The mirrors do fold if you press that middle button. You can kind of see how they fold in, okay? Then you press them again, 
and they'll fold back out again. That's kind of handy if you're in like a tight spot when you're out four by four in, or maybe you're in a, trying to get in some underground parking, or you're trying to get some shopping down to the West Edmonton Mall. It's nice to be able to fold those out of the way so you can kind of get in and out of your parking spot. These are all your switches here. Uh, this one here, if we press this button, okay, and then we press the uh, out button, you can see I'm power extending the mirrors now, and then I'm going to suck them back in. You just hold the button in, and away they go. You can adjust them in and out, depending on what you need. Makes it a lot easier. I know a lot of guys don't actually move the mirrors, but if you've got a really wide trailer on behind you, it's kind of handy to be able to do that. If you hit this button, that's how you activate to move your convex mirror. That's the little mirror on the, the little guy on the bottom. And then this one turns your lights on on the outside. Your This is the lights in front of the mirror, and this is lights on the back of the mirror. So you can kind of activate those when you're, you know, working at night. Power seat, forward and back, up and down, power recline. you got uh, lumbar support for your lower back. So you can make, get yourself into a nice, comfortable position. I'm going to fire up the dash here and take a look at some of the cool stuff inside. Cool little big horn logo there flashing across the screen when it fires up. So you got a nice big tack over here, great big speedometer, so it's easy to see what's going on. You can also scroll through all these screens. There's, you can change this. We've got a compass up here. We've got the temperature. Uh, we've got your battery, and over here you got your oil temperature. Uh, you can change all those gauges if you want to put something in there different. Uh, there's lots of settings in there you can adjust to. Yeah, also in here for data, there's things like distance to empty, fuel economy. Uh, there's, uh, it, you know, tire pressure monitors, uh, all kinds of good stuff in there. This is also, there's an access switch in here too that you can get into and you can change how your updater switches are set up. So it's super easy to, to get in there and play with. Uh, on the steering wheel, this is a heated leather steering wheel. Um, so you can just kind of flick that on. That's super cool. And come winter time, you're really going to like that. Over here, we've got our temp or our dash. Uh, so this is the 12 inch touchscreen. So we'll start on the home page here. The factory default setting, you get a, a nav screen at the top, and down below you got your uh, radio stations. But the thing with these is you can add a page. You can pick your own layout. When you pick out your design, you can design it however you want it to be. So you can put your music here. We're going to put on this side our climate controls. Down here I'm going to put my heated seats. And what do we got left? Maybe our pitch and roll. There we go. So for our 4x4 off-road screen. So now you can see you got kind of a cool layout there. You can access all the different stuff. You can also scroll back. If you want to go back to your original page, there it is. If you decide you don't like a page, say we want to delete this one, now it's gone. Now you're back to just having your two pages. So you can kind of customize this, the layout, however you like it to be. Also got your media screen. This basically tells you what you're playing for your music. You got AM, FM, Sirius XM, Alexa, all kinds of different ways of getting your tunes in. Uh, if you get your phone paired up with Apple CarPlay, it'll do that. Um, Android Auto works on here as well. In fact, I recommend that you download Apple CarPlay or Android Auto and then have it override the phone button. You'll find it's a lot easier to use your stuff. Heater controls, uh, this is your temperature. You can increase the temperature by using these buttons here. This one's for the passenger. Or you can actually access the digital screen like this and use that as a slider up and down if you want to do it that way. You can also turn your heated seats on. You can turn your heated steering wheel on all through these buttons right in here. So it's easy to access all that stuff. Nav screen, just a nice big map, easy to read. So if you're on the on the home screen, we had we had like the little the nav map, but you can also go to this one here if you're looking for something a bit bigger. I like to pop up the bigger nav screen when I'm in Edmonton and I'm driving around getting lost. Uh, I find it easier to see where I'm going. And you can see quite a few streets ahead with this screen. Uh, vehicle, this is where you got all your settings. This you can access all your camera. So we got our backup camera. You can also zoom in if you're trying to hook onto the trader ball. You can kind of see nice and close what's going on there. And then this is your camera box angle. So if you're loading up your fifth wheel, you can see inside your box, you can see where the, the fifth wheel is lining up to the hitch itself. So it makes it easy to, to access all that kind of stuff. This is another cool screen that's got to do with trader towing. This is something new for 2024. It's the first time I've seen it. So here you got all your trailer information. You can also got your trailer brakes, your transmission temperature. You get all your summary of all your gauges for when you're driving you're in your four-wheel drive or when you're out uh, pulling your trailer. You can also do a light check. And when you activate your light check, if our if our trailer was hooked up, it'll cycle through the so it goes left signal. It's doing it right now, right signal, and then it'll do your brake lights, your backup lights, and it'll cycle through all the lights for you. 
and then you could just basically walk to the back of your trailer make sure everything's working before you before you head out so because it'll go through the, the whole system with you you can also set up your trailer you can you gotta you can name your traders keep track of them uh, there's uh, it'll also keep track like a tripometer so you'll know how many trailer how many kilometers you've been pulling that trailer so if you can use it like a maintenance reminder type idea you go to your off-road pages, kind of a similar idea. You can access all these gauges for, for when you're driving off-road. It uh, gives you all your coolant temperatures and all that kind of stuff. You've also got your uh, steering angle input and if your 4x4 is engaged or not. And then if you're going up down steep hills, you got your pitch and roll angle. So it'll tell you how steep of a hill you're climbing. So just kind of some neat stuff that guys can play with if you if you got access to all that stuff when you're off 4x4. Down here we got our electric brake controller for engaging our brakes on our trailer. These are our auxiliary upfitter switches that we talked about earlier. So if we hook something into switch number one, that's how you would turn it off and on through there. You would program how it activates through the through the center DAS screen. But you can basically have it so it'll turn like either off or on. You can have it so if you, it'll only activate when you're pressing and holding the button. You know, so you'd have to hold the button down to make whatever's hooked into that switch work. You can have it set up so <coughs> it'll stay on whether the whether the key's in the ignition or not, that kind of thing. I mean, I guess this one doesn't have a key in the ignition. It has a, a keyless remote, so it just knows the key's in your knee at the start button. But as long as you're in, if the vehicle's off, the lights will be off. If the vehicle's on, it'll stay on. So you can you can decide how you want those wired up. It also has a tow haul mode for when you're pulling a trailer. It just changes your shift points. It's got a diesel exhaust brake, which is great. You can activate that. Uses it, use that button, or use the, the exhaust brake to help hold you back if you've got like a heavy load on when you're pulling a trailer. Um, I've used it with about a 10,000 pound trailer. Makes quite a bit of difference. Uh, just makes it more relaxing to pull the trailer, basically. Uh, down here, we've got a place for your cell phone. You can just kind of set it in here and just holds it in place so it doesn't kind of slide all over the place. Now we've got some more USB ports to plug your cell phone in so you can charge it. Lots of storage down here. This tray slides ahead. You got some cup holders. You got some more storage in here for your coins. In the armrest, this flips up. Lots of storage in here, and even more storage down below. There's also a little divider down here. We can kind of flick this little guy up. There we go. And now, when you hammer on your brakes and or step on the gas, your stuff isn't sliding around inside your inside your uh, storage area down there. Also has at the back these little this little grid here on both sides. The idea there is you go by those little hanging folders with the little hooks on the ends. And it'll just kind of hang them in there, and you can use them like a little home office. You can use it to sort your stuff out. Overhead, we've got a place here for your sunglasses. It's nicely felt lined, so nothing gets damaged. Open and close in the power sliding rear window. And then you can play with your light switches here if you want to turn them off and on, or do you want them on the doors, that kind of thing. Also comes with a SOS button. So if we hit that, it'll alert the RCMP that we need them. And it'll send out a, I think they call them. I can't remember exactly how they notify them. But anyway, the cops will show up if you hit that button. This one here is your uh, SiriusXM Guardian, and that's your subscription service stuff. Uh, basically, what that does is it gives you an app on your cell phone. You can use your cell phone to start your truck. You can use it to uh, lock your doors no matter where you are. Uh, so there's all kinds of little things a guy can do with it if you pay that. It's a subscription-based thing. I think it's like 25 bucks a month or something like that. Okay, uh, that's kind of this truck real quick. Uh, but if you're looking to get yourself into a new diesel, this is a really popular model for us, the loaded Bighorn. Uh, they're, they're great value, and of course it's got the Cummins engine in it. That's the one everybody wants to buy. So give us a shout. We'll love to send you home in a new truck. We hope to see you soon.